Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In the last video we talked, we created actually the first four user stories for our application. We focused on the back end and on the authentication functionality. So now what I want to do is to move a little bit to the front end and to understand how the user is going to interact with our application and how we can or which which stories we can derive from how the user will interact with it right so i drew up like very quickly here three mockups just to give you a little bit the sense of our the flow that i have in mind and for this first moment all we have to do is to have a header a sign up button maybe this would be better if it was a button right uh, so let me just put this button here on the top makes more sense and this button here also on the top makes more sense so you see a button to sign up and you see a message hello sign up to use our app once you click the button then you will be redirected to this page right so you click the button you are redirected to to this page yeah, here it doesn't display very well but I think I can adjust then in this page you're displayed a email and a password field and the sign up button right so very intuitive once you click on the sign up button then you will be redirected uh, or upon successful completion you'll be redirected to this page where you are going to see a message saying that you have successfully signed up and that you should now verify your email before accessing the application in our case, we normally see that applications already allow you to access it even before verifying your email. That's fine. In our case, we would restrict this. I would like to restrict this to prevent um, too many people accessing the platform at a given time. It's better if we first require the person to ensure that, okay, I am actually interested in using the application for either testing purposes or because I'm I, I like the idea um, so the person can go verify the email and then it should be good to go and verify uh, and use the platform so I see here a couple of stories that we can derive from from these from these three mockups right so let's go back to our backlog and let's create the first one the first one is that I see that as a user, I want to see a sign up button when I first open the application so that I can easily sign up, right? I want to see a clear sign up button when I first access or when I first open the website so that I can easily sign up to the app. And this is my first story. Uh, sorry, I'm in the I'm in the epic. Let me quickly adjust, copy not to lose it, and here there you go. This would be under the epic. I think I can already select it here. Yes, this would be authentication v1, right? And I will create this. And now this one is going to be under authentication v1, but I'm gonna put a label of front end because I know this is a front end task. Okay. The next task that I can think of is that as a user, I want to be redirected to the sign up page when I click on the sign up button so that I can provide the necessary information for sign up. This is again a front end task. And this is, let me link to, to the epic here. This is to authentication epic. Maybe I can also link these two before I forget. This one is a backend, this from the previous video and the link here is also to authentication. And this one is also backend task and the link is also to authentication. Okay, we have two stories from for for the front end so these two stories here for the front end what else do i want i want as a user 
uh, I want to receive a successful or I want to receive a feedback right feedback from the application once I sign up so that I know what to do next all right so um, this is a some somewhat broader story because the feedback can be either positive or negative so if the user provided the correct information and he was signed up then we will show a success message if he provided bad input then we should show an error to the user right so this will be broken down in the subtasks once we think about them for this story and I think that this summarizes quite well the three diagrams that we have here, right? I want to see a sign up button, I want to see the form, and I want to see the feedback message. And I think this is good enough, right? This is good enough um, for the moment. We don't need to go into the very nitty gritty details of how the UI is going to look like. This is a concern for the future, for the moment. Our goal is to develop a working front end and to choose a UI that we can scale in the future, right? So if we consider using a third party package like Bootstrap or Design, Ionic, whatever package comes to your mind, um, we should make sure that it's scalable and that will fit our needs even when we need more complex UI functionality. Okay, so we can quickly break this down, right? So let's break each of the three stories into a few subtasks. As a user, I want to see a clean sign up, a clear sign up button when I first open the website so that I can easily sign up to the app. So the first subtask that I comes to my mind is implement websites header, right? Implement the website header, then I will have implement the sign up button, and the two other things that I need to do here that, or maybe the one other thing that I need to do here. Um, no, this can be we can we can let's mark this as a subtask of the next story, right? So we have here the epic. And let me find here in the backlog this epic i should be able to see all the stories there but maybe it's easier for me to access it from here so um as a user i want to be redirected to the sign up page when i click on sign up so now here is where that task i briefly mentioned comes into play so implement the sign up route right so this this is going to be a route so it's going to be slash sign up or slash off slash sign up. I think sign up is good enough because we are not going to have that those many routes in our application. So implement the sign up route, implement the sign up form, right? Um, and maybe a little bit consistent. Go back to my, yeah, Jira is a little bit unstable apparently. Um, sometimes I click and it doesn't change. Sometimes I click and it changes, right? Uh, so implement the sign up form. That's what I wanted. Um, now the two or few more tasks. I want to link the sign up button to or implement, let's say, redirect user to the sign up page when user clicks on the sign up button. Implement the sign up form, redirect the user to the sign up page when the user clicks on the sign up button and the sign up route. I think these are the three main aspects, right? So I want to be redirected to the sign up page when I click on the sign up button so that I can provide the necessary information for sign up. Good. Then we come back to our backlog. 
to the final task that we want to break down into a couple of subtasks. And it is to receive a feedback from the application once I sign up, right? So if I click on the link for the story here, now I can add my tasks. So the first subtask is going to be implement form validation, right? So I want to validate the form. I want to make sure that the user cannot submit a form that doesn't contain valid information. The second one that I want to do, implement form submission. Right, so the form should be submitted to the back end. I also want to implement error handling, and this would be two errors that come from the back end and not necessarily um, errors from the front end. So, um, what I mean here is that the form validation is going to take care of the errors that are made in the front end, right? So, if the user forgets his email or her email and provides um, or provides an invalid password or provides a weak password or provides an invalid email, this is going to take care of this. The error handling that this is going to take care of errors coming from the back end. For example, if the email is duplicated, right? So if I try to sign up with an email that is already in my database, I'm going to receive an error from the back end saying, oops, you cannot sign up with this email or this email is already signed up. But I think that this is not, well, normally we wouldn't reveal this kind of information that that specific email is already registered in the database, but I think that it would be fine for us here. Maybe we come to a decision about this a little bit later, but it's this kind of error that I mean. And the final story that we need is implement successful uh, or implement success message upon successful form validation right good then we have i think the things i can think of right i think we have enough things to keep us busy for a couple of videos from now on so we still didn't start um, setting up the front end. We will come back to the front end once we have a basic sign up working functionality and a verification, right? The verification I don't need yet. So maybe let's move this back here. So the first thing I want is I want to sign up and I also want to have the front end to sign up. So I'm going to move these three actually to my selected for development because these are going to be the first step. So when I then come back to my front end, I will consider how I'm going to develop the UI for verifying the email. So what I want to do now is I want to focus on developing the sign up functionality. So I will develop it in the back end. I will set up the front end. I'll develop it in the front end. And then we come back to the board and we do an additional planning for the next features. And I'm pretty sure that during the development, there will be some features that will pop up and we will also come back to the, to the board here and add them in the backlog. But for the moment, we will, f we will stick to these ones. We will focus on, on these four. And as you can see, if I come to my Kanban board, this is already quite a, a bit to implement. Of course, some of them are very small, but it's nice to see how the board is going to progress. Okay, this was the goal for this video. So I would like to thank you for your attention and we will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.